Let's talk about the criticism that Marceau received in season one of Love and Marriage Huntsville when people felt like the viewers felt like he was trying to stifle Tisha, wanted to keep her in the house barefoot and pregnant. Let's talk about that. So I see maybe both sides in a way because I understand that Marceau was working hard so Tisha doesn't have to work hard or work outside the house but at the same time I feel like if this is something that your wife wants to do that makes her happy why not support her in that so she can just be the best version of herself um I feel like we have to let people grow and use their legs and walk and move I don't I feel like shouldn't stifle people's growth i almost feel like we're like plants that you have to water and let get sunlight and they may want to change and explore and do different things as long as it's not really hurting the relationship itself i see what's i see why not what's wrong with her having her own career it could probably help you guys both out in the long run generational wealth so if she doing her thing and marcel doing his thing eventually they both can sit down because now they both got like income coming in from multiple stream so and i feel like i don't know about you guys but it's something that's so fulfilling when you go after your dreams when you're working on a goal when you're pursuing your vision it just kind of gives you like life <laughs> you feel like we're all glowed up because you you know what I mean? like your day has purpose behind it now before when you didn't really wasn't on your grind wasn't on your purpose kind of was going through life day to day that's kind of how it felt like it kind of felt like life dragged on but when you're trying to work on a goal or accomplish something i feel like life becomes more like ah, new and free and vibrant and live and living color so i feel like marcel i'm glad he changed his mind about that <laughs> and allowed uh tisha to kind of do her thing and like you know remember the, those memes that was going around get you a girl that can do both and at times they were talking about like a girl that can like dress real sedity and real cutesy and then a girl that could dress tomboyish or a girl that can have straight hair then the same girl can have curly hair like get you a girl that can do both so what's wrong with her doing both she could be a stay-at-home mom she could be a mom and still pursue her career and degree and everything else you know especially nowadays with the panini going on you can always like get your degree online you do a lot of work online you could be like me talking on youtube online you can start your podcast online you can do an online boutique you don't even have to leave the house if that's what you know was one of his concerns like oh well, who i don't want to buy else raise my kids uh daycare um sir it's a lot of stuff that's online that's making it possible for you don't even have to leave your house you don't like a lot of the things nowadays you can do right from the comforts of your home so i'm glad that he changed his prerogative and his perspective because i do feel like we as women you know we can grow and expand i think about the proverbs 31 woman that lady was busy doing her thing she was selling stuff she woke up early fed the kids husband was saying just all you know everybody called her blessed people knew her in the gateway you know she was just selling purple scarlet you know, she was just doing it <laughs> and so many people always talk about that like oh proverbs 31 women but at the same time that woman was doing it all not to say we have to do it all either or do exactly as it you know some people do some women do feel totally fulfilled with being in the house but i feel like you know once you always are going to want to grow too as well i feel like life don't just stop because you now have kids and you're now a wife you know you it's still things that god placed in us all that's kind of outside of our roles as women you know some some impact that we were supposed to leave here on earth but sometimes, and not sometimes, but I understand that can be raising children to be self-sufficient and to go to school and teach them morals and keeping the house together and things like that. So it's like both very important, but I, you know, I kind of feel, I don't, I'm one of those people that want to give people permission or not give them permission but let them know it's okay to go for it to go after your dreams the visions the things that you see in your heart um i want you to see them come into fruition to actualize in the natural you know if it's in your head and your heart your spirit i want you to do the steps 
or encourage you to do the steps to actually make it a reality because it feels so good to see something that you wrote down on a piece of paper actually manifest and you actually live in it and it just kind of shows you that with hard work prayer dedication consistency you can be the architect of your life you can etch that thing out etch it sketch it write it down and you know write on a piece of paper mentally see it and it's yours you know just work it out god on your side you cannot fail so that's how come i just wanted to say my little teeny weeny thing about that situation but let me know what you guys think you know i always be wanting to know what y'all got going on so you know you tell me what are you guys working on and how do you feel about you know being able to do both as a woman i feel like even times have changed remember back in the day when like our parents and grandparents and great-grandparents was alive and stuff they really a lot of women didn't have the option to do both you know they kind of had to stay in the house and i just wonder how many good ideas could have came out of the women that could have expressed themselves creatively and you know in other ways outside of the home but nevertheless we thank them for their sacrifice and you know raising us and to be productive citizens as we are today so that's all i wanted to say let me know what you guys think and i will talk to you guys again soon bye